Bangladesh have not qualified for the semis, but they're still hoping to be one among those eight teams who will be in action at the Champions Trophy. They play their last game in Pune against uh, the Australians who have already qualified for the semis, who play against uh, South Africa in that uh, semi-final, the second semi-final, uh, which will be played in, uh, in Kolkata. Australia coming off... Uh, a crazy, crazy <laughs> win, courtesy <laughs> Madman, Mad Max, the big show. Uh, Glenn Maxwell, uh, very important that Australia keep that winning momentum going. Do they experiment? Do they try and maybe <laughs> rest someone like a Maxwell? Uh, keep Smith out? What do they do? Well, I, I think Steve Smith will come back in if, if he's uh, recovered from his vertigo. I think the, the key decision for this Australian team, because actually, I, I thought their formation um, against Afghanistan at the Wankhede was better with just one of Smith and Labuschagne. Exactly. I think they've got a more powerful batting lineup when you've got Marsh at three, one of Smith and Labuschagne at four. English will be under pressure. You know, he was out first ball, so will they make the call in bringing Carey back to keep and bat? Uh, I'm not too sure whether that's right at this stage, but I think his pr uh, position in the team is, is being talked about. And then you had the likes of obviously Maxwell coming in and then Stoinis. Stoinis played a shot against Afghanistan that I've never seen him play. He got out reverse sweeping. He doesn't reverse sweep. Yep. So. I don't know what they'll do. Whether they'll play Marnus and Steve Smith as a shoot-off tomorrow, knowing that that's okay. the formation yeah, okay. that they're the going to go into the semi-final, or they'll stick with the formation, give Stoinis another run. Um, uh, they might change the bowling attack because they might just want to rest one of the quicks and give Sean Ab Abbott a run out. But uh, it wouldn't surprise me if, that, if they played a similar team because once you get on a winning run, they've won, what, five on the trot now, Australia? Yep. Yep. Uh, but certainly for me, Australia's best formula formation was what they picked in Mumbai, and that was one of Smith and Labuschagne. Smith wasn't fit, so Labuschagne played. Australia uh, lost their first two games and, uh, then, and then win, six, won six, six matches six, on the six, trot, six, not yeah. five, six it is. This, this match, the 11 that Australia play, is that most likely going to be what they go in uh, for the semi-final with? No, that, that's exactly what you're saying. That you know, there, are two, there are two ways of looking at this match. One is to say that Smith and Labushen playing together has not really worked for them and this is something we've been doubting from the start of the tournament because one of those guys you use as a pivot to play around but you don't use two of them, I mean that does that takes away a little bit of firepower from your order. So what Michael is suggesting is do we take, play them both and say the guy who's in form is going to play the same finals and perhaps the final or do you turn around and say that you know let's stick to this formation, give Stoinis another chance and either keep Labushan or bring Smith in his place. So you've got that choice and perhaps maybe drop a bowler too. I think uh, the interesting thing about the bowlers will be, I mean the other thing is, do you, is Maxi, I think, does Maxi need a rest at all? Mm. I mean, is he tired out? Is, does he need a rest? Yeah. That's the other thing that they could be looking at and saying that, you know, maybe he's just give a bit, but he's the kind of person who is even 80% fit will be, will want to play because he's a streaky player and he, he wouldn't want to interrupt his momentum right now. Mm, but I, I, I see Sean Abbott probably getting in if you know one of the fast bowlers, you know, just give them a bit of a break. Australia have qualified. Bangladesh, as I said, eyeing uh, that Champions Trophy spot. Even if they lose uh, this game against Australia, they've got to ensure it's not too big a loss because uh, remember, there's Sri Lanka, there's Netherlands as well, uh, who will be hoping that Bangladesh lose by a big margin. Uh, things have gone from bad to worse for them. Shakib has gone back home. Uh, in comes Anamul Haq in this, in this squad. Uh, what do you do? They need to win this one or at least lose this one, not by a big margin to get into that Champions Trophy 8. Yeah, I mean, obviously beating Sri Lanka was a big um, big night for them, Shaki, but I don't know how he got injured. It, that, kind of, <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit, of a bit of a shock to me the next day when I hear that he'd broken his hand. I was like, I didn't see that on the pitch, but uh, he's obviously gone. He's a key player for me, found form against Sri Lanka. Uh, look, they've been disappointing. Yes, they played well against Bangladesh. It was a performance on the back of huge controversy in the way that they got uh, Angelo like Matthews it. out. But um, I think Bangladesh have all this. I mean, you look at Afghanistan. We, we're praising Afghanistan because the collective, they play together, um, they play sensibly at the right time, and then obviously they're flamboyant at the end of the innings. Bangladesh don't play as a team. You know, they've had one performance for me, and that was against Sri Lanka, uh, and that was when the captain suddenly got the bat in hand and probably the trigger of Angelo's kind of dismissal. Had, triggered him into that kind of performance, he's that kind of character. Um, but I, I don't think Bangladesh have, have played anywhere near the potential of their side. I think they've got some decent players, some young players. I think that's the one thing for Bangladesh is that they've got these under-19 players, they're the champions of the under-19 World Cup, and they've got young players in the side that are going to be around for a while. And that's now what Bangladesh cricket needs to do, is almost reset. 
reset, bring through a, a new generation of young players and stick with them for a few years. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll make the 25 Champions Trophy and then look for a four-year build going into the next World Cup. Tuscan hasn't done well, Brands haven't come from the openers, just nothing's gone well for them. Yeah, look, I think I think it's time to give even, I would say that even, you know, forget what the match is. Uh, Mushukil Mahmudullah, it is, it's time for, they have to look at making a new core and they have that core. Of course, the problem with them is that they haven't, all of them haven't got runs. Tanzim hasn't got runs up front. You haven't got runs from Tori Dridoy. Shoriful is the one player who's come through the ranks, you know. You're still, Mehdi and Miraj is your top player. Mehdi, Litton, these are the players, Shanto, these are the two, three players who are giving them enough. Yeah. The rest are just clearly not giving them enough. Mm. Mehmudullah, but again, Mehmudullah is there, still scoring runs for them, still. But Mehmudullah is not batting. If you saw the last match, you know, it's great. He bought, he got, you know, Bangladesh into a position of a respectable loss instead of a devastating loss. But if you see Mehmudullah's press conference at the end of the day, what is he turning around and saying? He's saying that, you know, I have a lot of things to say, I don't want to say it now. Mm. So clearly he is making <laughs> points out there. That is a, that dressing room is perhaps uh, what, you know, Michael would say is the polar opposite of the Afghanistan dressing room at this point in time. Yeah. And I think they have a lot of their stuff to settle. They just need to go there, get this game over with and then just, just decide who is it that's going to run Bangladesh cricket, who is going to be the captain, who are their long-term players because uh, it's it's not a lack of talent, it's just a mess out there and there, there's so much, you know, if you read Bengali, you just have to, you know, some of, some, some of the media going around there, allegations, counter-allegations, suspicions, somebody sabotaging the team, who is the saboteur inside the team, <laughs> it's a mess.